To find the ionic charge for helium, there's two ways we can do this. We can look at the periodic table and the trend for ionic charge, or we can look at electron configurations. Let's start with the periodic table. That's usually a pretty easy way to do this. So there are trends on the periodic table, and one of the trends is for ionic charge. Group one, that has a one plus. Group two, two plus. We skip these transition metals, except a few in the post-transition metals here. And then we go down to three minus, two minus, one minus, and then zero. So you can see helium, that's right here. It has an ionic charge of zero. So we just don't write anything. We just leave it as HE. In fact, all of the elements here, these are the noble gases, they don't have an ionic charge. They're neutral. It's zero. Let's take a look at electron configurations. On the periodic table, helium, that has two. That's its atomic number. That's the number of protons in here on the periodic table. This is neutral, so protons will equal electrons. So we have two electrons for helium. So when we write the electron configuration here, we put 1s, that's the first energy level, the one energy level, and we can put two electrons in this s orbital. And now we've used all two electrons, and this is full. This actually is a full first energy level. If we put anything else in it, like for lithium, we'd have to go to 2s. That would be 2s1 for lithium. But for helium, this is full. And because this is full, it's very stable. It doesn't react, and we don't have an ionic charge, or we could say the ionic charge for helium is zero. I recommend that you memorize these trends on the periodic table for ionic charge, but you also understand what's going on, why something like helium doesn't have an ionic charge or something like hydrogen will give away one electron and have a one plus ionic charge. This is Dr. B with the ionic charge for helium, HE, and thanks for watching.